When you have sleep paralysis, your mind is awake, but your body remains statue. You can see all of your dreams acting themselves out in front of you, and it can be hard to tell if it's real or not. When I wake with this depression, my mind is awake. But my bones stay glued to bed sheets. I can see all of my fears acting themselves out in front of me, and it can be hard to tell what is real or not. Bells, box cutters, ropes, in my stillness. My hands have held so many almost. I wonder what it'd be like to sleep forever. But the morning always arrives. And getting out of bed feels like an endless court sentence. Where my depression is the judge and the jury. And finding reasons to live feels like playing devil's advocate. So when my master wants to know who I've been, I want to say I've set seven alarms and my body has resisted all of their advances. Or I spent the last 20 minutes in the shower because it is the last warm thing i felt. Or I had to stop fossilized in my thought for two hours the size of my anxiety, which is to say I birthed an ocean with these lungs and now I feel like I am drowning in my demons. My neurobiology professors want to tell me sleep is all about memory consolidation or dreams, but they fail to mention that on some days it can be my only medicine. My mom checks in, asks me if I'm using any drugs to deal with the sadness. I say, Mom, yesterday I slept through a whole day of sunshine, took every inadequacy, every ounce of shame, and injected it behind my eyelids. Some days, huh. I can feel the paralysis setting in. I can feel the sadness swaying down the edges of my blanket. Mm. I've learned not to fight it. I've learned that fighting my depression is less about combat and more about survival. Mm. When I say I am okay, I mean I am still breathing because I think that counts for something. <laughs> I'm so poor, but I keep paying my dues anyway. And it's me ironic that I'm so sad I can barely write a poem about my fucking depression. Or fine means awful, or better means worse, and goodbye means forever. We still this sadness on the stage for you, and you might tell us we are loved, or brave, or strong, and for a moment we will be satisfied when I wake again. I will still be bedside statue, still be cemetery of missed calls, and missed texts, and missed classes, still be relaxed. Person, I think this that everything is okay.